Hallo, hier ist der Black Dragon von PocketPC.ch und wir sind hier auf dem Mobile World Congress 2013 am Stand von Ubuntu und lassen uns nun einmal die Grundfunktion des neuen Ubuntu OS ähm, demonstrieren. Das Ganze ist allerdings in Englisch, also wenn ihr das Englische mächtig seid, dann solltet ihr was verstehen, ansonsten äh, lasst euch einfach die Bilder gefallen. So. Okay. So, here, first thing you'll see is that there is no buttons, soft buttons or hard buttons. Um, the reason for that is that we use all four edges of the screen to access applications and content. The other thing you'll notice is the um, personalized view of how you use the phone. So this will change over time depending on how you, how you use your, your phone. So the first edge is the left edge. This is where you can bring in your applications, your most favorite applications um, from that side. Um, if I scroll over here, we we'll go straight to the home screen. This is where you can access um, information that you use most frequently. Um, so the applications, sorry, your applications, um, people, um, music, various things there. We've also got a people lens, and this is where you can again access people and information coming through from various sources. So phone calls, text messages, even Facebook. It's all in, in one place. And what social networks will be supported on the release? Um, so uh, this is a very early demo, demo a very early build at the moment. Um, we hope that they all will be um, when, when it comes to, to release, but um, it's still in development at the moment. I think, but mainly Twitter, Facebook, Absolutely. and Picasa eventually? Exactly. Okay, and yeah. and um, a applications will be developed, um, HTML, um, web apps, that can, those mm -hmm. kind of things will be developed. Into, into music um, again this is a nice visual way to see um, the music that you have on your phone and also music that you you might want to buy as well um, directly from, from the lens um, and then if I go back this way you can see applications that you've got running applications that are open um, and, and video content as well mm -hmm. if I show you um, the uh, gallery gallery application um, this is a native app that we have developed ourselves it's using QML Qt um, so you can see that all of the screen is taken up for that application so there's no Chrome and unnecessary tools getting in the way. Okay. If I open a picture here um, I can show you what the bottom edge is for. So this edge brings in um, tools specific to that application so here for example you can um, select a picture or take a, or share it via um, Facebook or something. But that's a limited search, um, so what we've developed is what we call a HUD, a heads-up display. It's basically a global search um, where you can access a whole broader range of, of oh, I, I commands can, I can, I can, directly from there. So if I pull that in, you can see there I can choose to say, and, and this is voice or um, text activated. So I'm just going to, it's too loud in here to voice activate it. So let's just say um, I'm going to auto enhance, and there it will go and auto enhance directly. Um, mm -hmm. I'll show you again uh, with a crop, for example. Um, you should be able to crop directly yeah, from, okay. from there. Um, yeah. the, the right edge. The right edge is for flipping. Sorry, that there's no uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, no um, But flipping between applications open. So let me open notes for you, so you can can see that happening there. So notes, Facebook, gallery. Okay. And the top edge finally is um, where you can access settings, notifications, things like that. So time without ever, ever needing to leave the application that you're in. And you can access messaging here as well. And again, this is pulling in messages from, say, missed calls from Skype. And you can pull back directly from within here. Okay. Um, uh, or you know, directly from from here to Facebook without ever needing to open Facebook and, and go in from there. Um, and that's a 
a quick tour of the okay. Ubuntu phone. Um, where can I find a menu where I can see all in setups, not on the only the favorites? Um, you'll be able to see that here. Ah, okay. Yeah. So um, directly on your home screen. Exactly right. So the home screen is there, next one along is apps, um, and you can see all of those applications um, uh, in there, and as well as ones who are available for download. We have some. Another little question, uh, if you pull out the uh, favorite apps menu, do you have to uh, stay with the finger on the screen or can you only make a little swipe and then uh, release it and then only tap in the application? Ah, okay. Yeah, so you can pull that in and you can customize this too. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to customize that, so whatever. whatever you want. And, uh, what about multitasking uh, possibilities? Yeah, so um, we can show this more clearly on, we can show this on the, the tablet. Um, we made the tablet um, specifically for multitasking. Mm -hmm. um, and what, um, I to show you, but um, what that means is that you can be watching um, a, a video, for example, and then pull in your messages um, on the side screen. It's mm -hmm. called the side stage. It doesn't interrupt the video. It doesn't stop the video you might just want to have a quick check and then flip that back up okay. same with um, browsing you you might be looking for a new phone you might see a phone you want to just quickly attach that to a note um, you know and you can um, just do that on the on the side stage of the tablet okay but on the phone uh, you have you can only have one application open well you can flip between applications yeah, sorry yeah. you can flip between applications very easily mm -hmm. just by scrolling across from the, from the right yeah. and uh, applications in the background for example uh, I open a game which uses a lot of uh, memory in the background then uh, will it be ended or will it be freezed or saved or something um, so at the moment it is a, it's, a, it's an early build um, and it, and eventually it will be whatever is optimized for, for the phone. So if it's a game, for example, that would pause um, or go into the background, but you would need, you can start it up directly when you came back to it that way. So it, it depends on the, the application. And again, it's, it's so that's there's final design. There is yeah. no final decision at the moment. That, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. So, wenn euch diese kleine Einführung gefallen hat, dann gebt uns doch einen Daumen hoch und abonniert unseren Channel und wir hören uns im nächsten Video. Bis dann!